what's going on? One of those people, Jake Short. Gets a chance now in his final match of his long career here at the University of Minnesota. This is a match just kind of looking at lineups. This is one that not only do the Gophers need, but they got to start. They got nice to think shot about right to a in. double. Good job. Almost uh, an outside single switched mm -hmm. off right to a double and plants the guy. Ha already has a uh, left arm trapped. Jake Short, ranked number 18 in the country. He is 9 and 8 on the season. He's an NCAA qualifier the last two years. He has taken on Shane Oster. Shane's a sophomore. He's 9 and 12 on the year out of Homer Glen, Illinois. Short is going to work. Looks like he's ready for senior day. Now, I don't know what, I mean, I, I wonder know, what the gift is. I bet it's something nice. Yeah. I don't know about you. I, I know that, like, for me, when I, I got to wrestle senior day, I, it, it does add a little bit extra to it. You know, you just kind of, you want to put forth your best effort. So hopefully we see that out of these three guys to start this duel off. And he's right there going for that roll through tilt. He's getting swipes. Ethan Lezak stayed in Pennsylvania, but the tilts came home. Mm -hmm. Swipe city right here. Jake Short putting, putting the hammer down on Northwestern here in the uh, first period. Transitions right to this bar. He's got it tight. He's getting more back points. Another good job by Jake Short. Now he needs to be careful not to pin himself here, but I love the offense by Jake Short. Then again, I mean, I think um, Ofstrom maybe not ready for this type of offense mm -hmm. by Jake. And on another note, how many home matches do you think in total? I wish we had the stat that the Short family has wrestled here. A member of the Short family has wrestled here in the past. It's an excellent observation. Oster up out one for his escape. It's a 10 to one match right now and Jake has 129 of rioting time with a minute to go in this first period. Great start to this match so far by Jake Short. Needs to keep it up. He's back in on a high crotch, back to a double leg finish. Almost has that arm trapped right from the right from the takedown as well. This look kind of is what we've been waiting for all season long with Jake. You know, you want him to kind of kindly find a way to just break through. You know, he finished co so close to being an AA last mm -hmm. year at Nationals and this year kind of didn't go the way he was hoping it would, I don't think, for the first part of it. So just a couple matches like this could really. If there's a time to come on, it's right now. Mm -hmm. um, I know what it is. I know why Jake is looking very offensive and quick. He got rid of the beard. Did he shave? We got a new look. We, I, I new bet look, we will Jake. not see another beard on Jake if he keeps his pace up. Also out for the escape. So it's a 12-2 lead after one for short. He's got 2-14 a riding time. Looks like Gophers will have their choice in the odd matches. Still a lot of, a lot of time left, so a lot of things can happen here in the sport of wrestling, but um, Jake goes down. I want to see Jake keep building on this thing. You know, we've seen it before. He scores early. He scores a lot of times. He scores the first. And then kind of puts yeah. on the brakes a little bit. So we'll see what happens. Trying to stay in, but they're going to go out and come back to the center for a fresh start. Moster gets uh, another clean look at the top position. Jake again, right up to his feet. Very good job getting to his feet right away. Good mat return by Oster. Uh, stall warning and now, the escape. That's a tough one for Northwestern on that. So Oster was hit for stalling there. If not, not able to bring back short to the mat in enough time or, or quick enough for the ref's liking. So he hits him for stalling and immediately after that, Jake's out for the one. Oster trying to close the gap with his hands very low, trying to protect his legs. As soon as he initiates tie, Short does a pretty good job of working on getting, getting a better head position as well. One 
So 55 left here in the second period. Not too many offensive uh, attempts by either guy so far. In the second period. Right. Correct myself. A little throw by attempt by Oster. Jake's able to turn that one away. Good re-attack by Jake now. He's got a leg up. 30 seconds to go. There's plenty of time to finish this. Plenty of space, too, if you can just keep him in the center. Nice Good back trip. Finish. Short goes up 15-2. to two. It will be Northwestern's choice in the third. Also note on there, Short has um, over two, two minutes of riding time as well. And Jake will close out the second period in the top position, 15 to two lead, two minutes, 16 seconds of riding time. Oster's choice, he's gonna take down. So Jake would get in a point for riding time and make it a 14 point lead. So if, you know, I don't know if you go escape or cut him right away, try to get another takedown, or you try to turn for a little bit. You want to be careful, you know, if he cuts him and gets one takedown, you'd, you'd almost like him to go again and just you don't risk, you know, a guy getting an escape with five seconds yeah. left and you lose the tech. Most are so still attacking, still coming so forward. So there's that another throw by attempt. He's like that left hand underhook so far. Short trying to, starting to slow yep. down, but then he uh, right away hits back that in. nice, nice low. So here's, low you'd, like, yeah, you'd like to see him, you gotta take down, maybe cut him loose and get one more just to just finish the match. Means that's what he's gonna do. So 17 to four, a takedown here by Short would end this. Now Oster has been warned for stalling once. If he could somehow get another warning, I don't think that one is warranted by any means right now yet. But no, he's staying in. Yep. He's, then he's that, really that attack yeah. will buy him some time for sure. And I don't think at all he's tried to like flee any nope, ties or backed up. He's been in there. Shorts having a great a great match so far. Forty eight seconds. seconds. Yep. So the score is really continuation at this of point, action. Uh, so. Eighteen to four. Jake needs a takedown. Pretty much any time he's taken an attempt mm -hmm. and getting to, gotten to the leg. Fully committed to an attempt, yeah, he's finished it. And that one, you know, that's not a full shot. He left that right hand up on the arm. 26 to go, these fans really want to see a takedown here. A shot by Short, he misses it, and Oster's going to follow it up and get a takedown of his own here to cancel any chance of getting that mate or that tech. Way to keep wrestling by yeah. Oster there. Shane Oster, good job, finished the wrestling Shake the working entire up match to his base. But you can see, you can see why Short was coming up so quick right off the whistle. Oster's throwing in those boots. Uh huh. Riding time points going to make it, have it 18 to six. Major decision. For Jake Short, that's 14 points for the Holy Gophers. Holy moly, he already grew back that beard. 